when I got home last night, my booster jab hit me like a ton of bricks. I had the chills, body aches, couldn't even like look at bright lights. It was horrible, headache. So I just like, I burritoed myself put a blanket on the bean bag and just like dozed off and then tried to have a really good sleep. And considering how I feel this morning, it feels like no less than a miracle has happened. I'm still a little bit achy, but I feel way better. So it was just a, a good sleep that I needed to have. Oh, by the way, yeah, it's Saturday. I said I was only vlogging on the weekdays, but there is a very special occasion for this one. And that's because the first duck pond Christmas market is on today in Chiswick, which is where I go for karate. So this is technically start of the week where I go visit the Blue Free Bakeries and in Chiswick as well. There is a cafe called Chateau Chiswick. And while they're not 100% gluten free, they do the most beautiful, gluten-free cakes like proper proper patisserie like like layered they're beautiful I'll show you when we get there I thought I might as well do it while I'm over that side of town and knock off two birds with one stone so yeah we're heading there now firstly heading into karate got the little kids this morning who I help teach it's the absolute highlight of my weekend to be honest they're so sweet see you soon I just finished karate. The head teacher couldn't come today because he had to self-isolate, so I ended up taking the teenager's class, which was so fun. But anyway, we're outside Chateau Chiswick now. So this is the place with the delicious patisseries. I'm gonna head in, show you all of the delicious things that they have, pick up at least one thing, and then we'll head to the market. and on the shelf was gluten free there was just one thing that wasn't with which was the little cakes with the oreos on top what did i choose well me being me i went for the triple chocolate cake isn't that beautiful like it is one of my ambitions to learn how to make things as gorgeous as this it's like when they did the patisserie week on bake off recently and they made those layered cakes <gasps> so yes yeah, so i will i'll try this as soon as i get home I've had a couple of people ask me what's the best way to navigate markets as a gluten-free person and actually I think markets are one of the best places to be for gluten-free people because you're literally standing with the people that bake the food or make the food so you can ask them directly about cross-contamination you can ask them what the ingredients are stuff like that so probably my tips for it would be just be confident enough to ask the people what's in the food. Um, apparently this market today is like huge. There's like 65 market stalls, all Christmas themed, and I'm completely lost. One second, okay, I figured it out. So yeah, apparently there's like 65 stalls and it is a huge Christmas one. I So yeah, I'm excited, probably gonna get some mulled wine if I'm being entirely honest. <laughs> But in terms of gluten-free food, there was absolutely nothing. There was one place where I could get fudge, but I don't feel like anything sweet. But other than that, there's nothing I could eat. Even went to the cafe, tried to get a hot chocolate, but the hot chocolate mixture had gluten in it, so I <sighs> couldn't do that either. The only thing that's brought me joy is that I remembered I haven't had my cheese advent calendar for the day, so I'm very excited for that. I'm home. 
it is time to try this beautiful cake. But first, today's cheese advent calendar. Oh, Marie. We've got a red Leicester. A red Leicester. That's not for you. I forgot to mention there's also cheese related jokes. So, what did cheese say on the Zoom call? For goodness sake, you're on mute again. Right, let's get this out. How's your morning been? Yeah. You're okay. okay. I've been here a few times because it's so close to Karate. And I have actually tried a few of the ones that were there. Um, I'll show you a photo of the ones I've gotten. But there's not been one single thing I've had there that I've not liked. Let's just take that all in. Sorry, it's a bit smushed because I've been carrying it around for a bit, but let's go. Delicious. The most delicious chocolate cake. It's just so wonderful that there's a shop that you can get fancy gluten-free patisserie from. Like without having to order it. It's there every day. Can't remember exactly, but I think the owner of Chateau is gluten-free as well. But I'd have to double check that. So, they also do really good brunches as well. If you're in West London, pop this on your list. If you're not in West London, st still pop it on the list. It's worth it. <laughs> I wouldn't encourage you to make the trip for that market. <laughs> it's really odd because I've been to the duck pond markets before, but the one in like Gunnersbury Park, and there were so many gluten-free foods. I don't know why, maybe it was just Luck of the drawer with the stalls that were there, there was just nothing. If you do go to the duck pond market, I would recommend going when Hamilton Dessert Co is there because they are the ones that do these puddings that look like fruits. I've had one before, I'll pop a video on here of I think a banana one, yeah. And basically it's like a very thin chocolate outside and then pudding in the middle and almost all of those are gluten-free as well i believe maybe all of them you'd have to check they do change frequently but the guy is so talented so uh, i recommend that as well so yeah this is the first place on my gluten-free bakery tour of london and it has not disappointed tomorrow's video i'm going to be visiting two more gluten-free bakeries more central london this time uh so i hope you'll join me for those ones as well and fingers crossed i'm getting a really good gluten-free croissant tomorrow hope you're having a lovely day i'll see you tomorrow